Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. I'm going to read from 1 Corinthians chapter 13. And we're going to pace ourselves with interjections of my two cents. Okay. Verse 1. Though I speak with the tongues of men and of angels and have not charity, I am become a sounding brass or a tinkling cymbal. Pat's two cents. Charity is another word for love. So, I don't care how wonderful you are, how long you can speak in tongues, and, and, and how powerful you are. In God's eyes, you're nothing but noise, baby. If you don't have love in you, that means you're empty. And you know the worldly expression, empty cans make a lot of noise? Yeah, some of the Christians that make the most noise and boast the most about all that they can do in Jesus have no love in their hearts nothing but noise cuss you out in a new york minute get through talking in tongues and get out on the curb and be ready to put their foot all the way up in your you know what so love has characteristics that go so far beyond us we have to constantly ask god to teach us how to love show us how to love and enable us to love. Verse 2. And though I have the gift of prophecy and understand all mysteries and all knowledge, and though I have all faith so that I could remove mountains and have not charity, love, I am nothing. So when you think you're all that, Pat's two cents. When you think you're all that in a bag of chips and you think you hold the highest positions in church and you, you uh, understand the, the inner depths of the, of the Bible and you are just gifted with all of this wisdom and knowledge and whatever. And you don't know how to love your brothers and sisters, baby. You are nothing. Verse 3, and though I bestow all my goods to feed the poor, and though I give my body to be burned and have not charity, it profiteth me nothing. Verse 4, charity suffereth long and is kind. Charity envieth not. Charity vaunteth not itself. It's not puffed up. Doth not behave itself unseemly. Seeketh not her own, mm. is not easily provoked, ha! Mm. thinketh no evil, beareth all things, excuse me, rejoices not in iniquity, but rejoiceth in the truth, beareth all things, believeth all things, hopeth all things, endureth all things. Charity never faileth. But whether there be prophecies, they shall fail. Whether there be tongues, they shall cease. Whether there be knowledge, it shall vanish away. For we know in part, and we prophesy in part. But when that which is perfect is come, then that which is in part shall be done away. <laughs> Listen, I'm going to stop right there. What we don't realize is everything we do in the body of Christ, everything we do in churches, everything we do in our memberships, in our ministries, in, in our interactions with each other, even in prayer, under the anointing of the Holy Spirit. Mm, yeah, great. But where is the love? Huh? When somebody is whizzing in your ear, girl, did you hear? He got her pregnant. Are you serious? Yes. And look at her. She's up front giving announcements. She ought to 
take a little behind home. Where, I ask you, where is the love in that? Hmm? Yeah, did you hear about Brother Appleseed? Well, let me tell you. I saw the cops in front of his house. He was arrested for having dope in his living room. They found it too. We were standing out there said, no, I don't believe. Yeah, you didn't hear about that, did you? Mm -hmm. yeah, all these people up here ain't all they're cracked up to be. I can tell you some stuff, you know. Where is the love in that? None. There's no love in that. Being a gossip, being a talebearer, being a uh, uh, sower of discord, breaking up friendships, breaking up marriages, making one suspect another, making a church member look funny at the pastor, making the pastor look funny at you. Where is the love in that, you guys? Messy, messy, messy. That's all that is. It's not love. And where there is no love, where love is not present in your life or in your circle or your church, neither is God. He's not there either. Trust me.